Hey guys, so in my last video I showed you how to run the leaked kernel exploit for 5.5.x. So in this video I'll be showing you how to prepare your SD card and set it up for all of the amazing stuff that's going to be happening in the Wii U scene soon. So the first thing you need to do is insert your Wii U's SD card into your PC. So you can close out of this pop-up box that comes up inside of it it's best to have it completely empty but if there's stuff on here it's no big deal the first thing you need to do is create a new folder and call it wii u all one word and then inside that we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it apps a p p s and then inside that we're going to paste our homebrew applications but i'll be showing you how to do that now so you're going to find one that you want so i'll be using loading so I already have it downloaded. I just got this off of the GitHub. So there might be a www folder in here, but we're just going to delete that because we don't need it. All we need is this elf file that'll come with it. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go to my Wii U's SD card, and I'm going to go inside it all the way so it just says this folder is empty. And then I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to name it loading underscore gx2. Note that the name is going to be exactly the same as this. If it's any different, it will not work. But yeah, I'm not. I didn't mean to paste that there. I was just showing you. So inside of the loading GX2 folder, we're going to paste the elf file. So here's what it should look like from the start. It should be Wii U apps, and then whatever app you're using, and then the app name should be the same as the folder name it's inside of. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can eject your SD card, and you can run the kernel exploit after putting it into your Wii U. So yeah, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment for more videos, and I'll see you next time.